Hi, I'm Eric Zarens, and you're watching Mediaplex Live at One. Walkerville School Community is still grieving the loss of one of their own after attending yesterday's funeral. Miller Hill has the story. Over March break, the Walkerville High School community was faced with devastating news when Rob Baxter, the school's librarian's life, was stilled on Wednesday, March 18th after suffering from a brain aneurysm on Monday, March 16th. Yesterday, students and staff returned back to the school having to adjust to the loss of their librarian, mentor, and friend. Dave Garlick, Walkerville's principal, said the first day back was calm and somber for many. We had an assembly this morning where you could have heard a pin drop, and as soon as I walked to the middle of the gymnasium, which is usually the place where you have pep rallies, as soon as I walked to the middle of the assembly, the kids just went silent, and they were incredibly respectful. And uh, it's, been, it's been a very somber, calm day. Students were given the chance to sign banners for Baxter's family and Christine Borsawich, a Walkerville staff member who was also very close to Baxter. Walkerville's guidance counselor, Krista Brasso, said initiative Bowties for Baxter was started by the school's art teacher, Miss Miller. Bowties for Baxter. So students uh, have been able to go there and make their own bow tie in honor of him because he was a fan of the bow tie. These are the times uh, where you need to come together and support each other, and I think that's what they're doing. Students are supporting each other, and they're seeking out support when they need it, and we're trying to be there for them and for each other in every way that we can. After Baxter's funeral today, the cortege will be passing by the school for the students who could not attend the funeral. For Mediaplex News Now, I'm Miller Hill. Local swim teams have recently upgraded their facilities. The Aquatic Center is now their main practice pool. Chelsea Leffler reports. The Windsor Essex Swim Team and the Windsor Aquatic Club are both utilizing the Windsor International Aquatic Training Center to train its swimmers. They used to practice at pools like St. Clair College, the University of Windsor, and 80 Knox. The environment here is much better than our old pool. It's so much more spacious, so we're not crowded like before. We have a 25 meter pool, which we didn't even have before, and we get to swim in 50, so that's much more convenient. And we have more space to try new things and a much better atmosphere environment. And it's much more clean. This pool is actually about 75 meters in length with dividers to separate it into three sections. So that way the divers and swim lessons can be conducted. The good news is they can move these dividers so the swimmers can train in a 50 meter pool instead of the normal 25 meters. One of the main things that helped me as a swimmer being at this facility is that we're able to utilize the pool's length because on Wednesdays we swim in the 50 meter pool and that's like the best thing about it is that we're able to train long course so it's like more effective training. With this new pool the city can host bigger meets such as the previous International Children's Games and the upcoming 2016 FINA World Swimming Championships. From Mediaplex News, I'm Chelsea Luffler. In weather, we can expect a mix of sun and clouds with a high of 11. Tonight, the temperature will drop down to 3 degrees with partly cloudy skies. For tomorrow, be prepared for light rain and a high of 4. Ever wondered how our Canadian flag came to be? Dan Gray gives us insight on our flag's history. The Windsor Community Museum recently displayed one of its rare artifacts, a Canadian flag that flew on February 15, 1965. After much debate and many designs, the Queen proclaimed on January 28th of 1965 that a flag bearing a red make belief would become our nation's flag. Hugh Barrett is the education and volunteer coordinator at the museum and believes having our own flag is a big part of Canadian history. So it's significant that the Maple Leaf represents Canada um, and uh, it was just it was a big part of Canadian history. The flag has gone back into storage and the museum is now closed until mid-May for renovations. For Mediaplex News, I'm Dan Gray. For students looking into post-secondary education, St. Clair College is hosting an open house across all campuses on Saturday, March 28th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Students hoping to join St. Clair College are welcome to attend with parents or friends. We hope to see you there. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Eric Zarens, and you've been watching Mediaplex Live at 1.